Can you fathom a war fought not on land, but deep beneath the waves? This is the story of the Cold War's silent and invisible battlefield, a period of intense geopolitical tension between the United States and the Soviet Union, the Cold War was a global chess game of strategy, espionage and technology waged from 1947 to 1991. However, beneath the world's oceans another conflict was brewing. A silent battle that would irrevocably alter the course of history. Discover the submarine corridor, a clandestine pathway beneath the depths where American and Soviet submarines navigated with stealth and precision, each carrying the power to spark a nuclear war. This covert maritime highway played a pivotal role in the Cold War strategy, its existence known only to a privileged few. These silent behemoths of the deep symbolized not just their nation's technological prowess and military might, but also served as unseen deterrents, maintaining a balance of terror that kept the world teetering on the brink of chaos, yet strangely enough also prevented it from spiraling into destruction. The secret submarine corridor was more than a pathway, it was a battleground. Here, the world's two superpowers played a lethal game of cat and mouse. Each submarine's mission, to remain invisible while seeking out the enemy. This was a silent dance of life and death, conducted far from the world's prying eyes. The strategic importance of this corridor is immeasurable. It was the underwater equivalent of the Berlin Wall, a chilling and silent division between East and West where the stakes couldn't be higher and a single misstep could spell disaster. So, how did this underwater chess match commence? As we delve into this concealed chapter of history, we will unravel the genesis, the conflicts, the end and the enduring legacy of the secret submarine corridor and unseen battlefield that encapsulated the essence of the Cold War. It all started in the mid-20th century with the advent of nuclear-powered submarines. These mechanical leviathans were a game-changer, redefining naval warfare as the world knew it. For centuries, naval battles had been fought on the open seas, a spectacle of fire and fury. But in the wake of the Second World War, a new era dawned. An era where the ocean's depths became the newest battlefield. The rise of nuclear-powered submarines ushered in this change. These submarines were not only faster and more powerful than their predecessors, but they were also capable of staying submerged for months on end, thanks to their nuclear reactors. The ability to lurk unseen beneath the waves gave these submarines an unprecedented strategic advantage. They could strike without warning, their torpedoes spelling doom for unsuspecting targets. But this new technology also presented a unique challenge. The vast, uncharted depths of the oceans were a maze of currents and obstacles, a far cry from the well-mapped routes of the surface. This led to the creation of a strategic corridor, a secret pathway beneath the waves. This corridor was a safe passage, a highway for these underwater behemoths. It allowed them to traverse the oceans undetected, ready to launch their lethal payloads at a moment's notice. But this corridor was more than just a route. It was a chessboard, where the great powers of the East and the West moved their pieces in a silent game of cat and mouse. Each side sought to gain the upper hand, their submarines stalking each other through the murky depths. This underwater battlefield was a place of high stakes and even higher tension, where a single misstep could ignite a conflict that would engulf the world. And thus began a silent underwater war, unbeknownst to the world above. A war waged not with guns and bombs, but with stealth, strategy and the chilling hum of nuclear reactors echoing through the ocean's depths. This was the birth of the underwater battlefield, a chapter of history as fascinating as it is chilling. Beneath the surface of the ocean, a game of cat and mouse ensued. This wasn't your average game, though. It was a silent war, fought in the hidden depths of the world's oceans, far from the watchful eyes of the public and it was a war that could have changed the course of human history. In the secret submarine corridor, a chess match of epic proportions took place between two superpowers. On one side, the Soviet Union, with its fleet of nuclear-armed submarines, was trying to establish its dominance in the underwater world. On the other side, the United States, with its advanced sonar technology and stealth submarines, was doing everything in its power to keep the Soviets at bay. This underwater battlefield was a place of high stakes and high tension. Every move had to be calculated, every decision had to be precise. The smallest mistake could lead to a catastrophic event, a nuclear war that could wipe out humanity. 
The tactics used by both sides were as fascinating as they were terrifying. The Soviet submarines, for instance, would often travel in packs, using their numbers to confuse and overwhelm the American sonar systems. The Americans, on the other hand, would use their superior technology to track the Soviet submarines, often getting so close that they could hear the propellers of the enemy vessels. There were some notable incidents and near misses during this silent war. One such incident was the collision of the USS Tautog and the Soviet submarine K-108 in June of 1981. Both submarines were damaged, but luckily, a major disaster was averted. The stakes were high, and the tension was palpable, even miles beneath the sea. But this was the reality of the silent war. A war that was fought not on land, but in the secret submarine corridor, where every move was a matter of life and death. As the Cold War began to thaw, the secret submarine corridor saw its final days. The chill of the Cold War didn't melt overnight, it was a gradual process, as slow and uncertain as the submarines that once silently stalked the depths. It was during this time of transition that the secret submarine corridor, the silent battlefield beneath the waves, began to lose its strategic significance. With the easing of tensions between the East and the West, the shadowy game of cat and mouse that had defined the corridor's existence began to fade. The submarines that once prowled the depths with deadly intent were now seen more as deterrents than active combatants. The era of clandestine underwater warfare was coming to an end, yet, even as the world above moved towards peace, the secret corridor wasn't immediately abandoned. The submarines still patrolled, their crews still vigilant, but the operations had changed. The missions were less about potential conflict and more about maintaining a delicate balance of power. The dark days of the Cold War were fading, but the legacy of those times lived on beneath the waves. Then came the moment that truly marked the end of an era, the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. The Cold War's main players were no longer on the board and the world had changed. The secret corridor, once a vital chess piece in a global game of strategy, had lost its relevance. In the post-Cold War world, submarine warfare underwent a transformation. The focus shifted from stealthy confrontations in the deep to more visible displays of naval power. The secret corridor, once the heart of this silent war, was now just another stretch of ocean. While the Cold War ended, the remnants of this underwater battlefield still linger. The echoes of a time when the world teetered on the brink of nuclear conflict, when silent warriors waged a hidden war in the shadowy depths. The secret submarine corridor may have faded into history, but its story, much like the submarines that once traversed its depths, remains submerged, waiting to be discovered. The secret submarine corridor may be a thing of the past, but its legacy lives on. This clandestine channel, a hidden artery of the Cold War, has left an indelible mark on the world, shaping the course of modern warfare and influencing international relations even today. Let's delve into the world of submarines first. This secret corridor was the crucible in which modern submarine warfare was forged. It was here that stealth endurance and the ability to strike from the shadows were honed to perfection. Today, these are the defining characteristics of undersea warfare. Each modern submarine gliding silently through the depths is a testament to the lessons learned in this secret corridor. The corridor also had a profound effect on the development of submarine technology. The need for silent running, advanced detection systems and long-range weapons all stemmed from the high-stakes cat-and-mouse game played in this underwater battlefield. The technological innovations birthed in this era still underpin the design and operation of today's submarine fleets. Now let's turn our attention to the broader international stage. The secret corridor was more than just a battlefield. It was a symbol of the delicate balance of power between the United States and Russia. It epitomized the Cold War's mutually assured destruction doctrine, where each side held the power to annihilate the other but refrained from doing so for fear of their own destruction. This corridor, therefore, was a potent reminder of the need for diplomacy and dialogue, even amidst deep-seated animosity. Today, as the world navigates an increasingly complex geopolitical landscape, the lessons from this corridor resonate more than ever. The need for dialogue, for understanding and for mutual respect, all underscored by the silent, deadly dance of submarines in this secret corridor, remain as relevant as ever. 
The secret submarine corridor, a relic of the Cold War, continues to echo in the depths of the ocean, a testament to a time when the world was on the brink of nuclear war.